Oji Kylo speaks on 2023 presidency after Tenembo's declaration. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Ahead of the 2023 general elections, the chief whip of a Senate Senator Oji Uzo Kalo said he has not made up his mind whether to vie for president in 2023 or not. Hmm. Should we believe this? <laughs> Should we believe this? Because the way he has been visiting a lot of people, he has visited Jagaban and Jagaban, um, who else? He visited some big, big people that, you know, you will know that something fishy, as in something is really, really cooking. You know, when they're cooking and they're making preparations, like going to the market, you know, ensuring that some certain uh, um, foodstuffs are in the house. <laughs> you can't, the person cannot deny that something is happening. Or maybe they're about to do a big celebration. And the person is telling you, no. And I've seen them bringing in canopy. Bringing in, and you're asking, ah, what is going on? And it's obvious that there is no morning. So you start asking, ah, what's the gathering for? So that is it. There cannot be any smoke without fire, sir. Time will tell. Only time will tell. But as for Oji Zocalo, he has been. It is one of his ambitions. Just like... um. The former governor of Lagos, in the person of um, Tunubu, he, he, he will come out and say it is his ambition to become the president. Maybe not now, maybe later, but I know he will come out to say it. Or maybe he might even, you know, be among those who will contest for it. Okay, let's find out more. The news in detail, please stay with us. Carlo said that this after the National Leader of All Progressives Congress, Bola Ahmed Tunubu, declared his interest to run for president in 2023. Kalu spoke to Nan on arrival at the Namdiazikiwe International Airport Abuja on Tuesday, said he will only now consider contesting if the All Progressive Congress APC zones its presidential ticket to the Southeast region. The senator, however, commended pro-democracy groups that has endorsed him to emerge flag-bearer of the APC and the 2023 general election, presidential election. Carlos said that he found them worthy to deliver good governance to the nation. He said, I want to continue to thank people who are putting up my posters all over Nigeria. I have not made up my mind to whether to vie for president or not. But if the opportunity is given to the Southeast, I will think again to see if there is room because the party has not said where they are zoning the president to. But I know the party will bring a president who will work for the unity of a country, which is more important. Tinibu and Oju Zokalo had held a closed-door meeting in Abuja in November 2021. Tinibu and Oju Zokalo had held a closed-door meeting in Abuja 2021. The, the former governor of Lagos State, in a brief interview with Carlos media team after the meeting described the interaction between him and Carlo as strictly personal. When asked to confirm whether the visit had anything to do with the 2023 presidential election, Tinubu was quoted to have said, I am here on a private visit. We discussed national interest issues, the economy and other issues bordering on security. Hmm. Okay. Well... Like I said, he has been seen visiting, or and people have also been seen visiting him. You know, the all progressive um, national chairman and the person of a former of governor of Lagos State and the person of Bola Ahmed Surumbu has actually come out and he has said some things. He has said some things um, about. Uh, he has said some things about. Okay, the former governor of Lagos State has actually made his own intention known, and you know. We've been seeing how you have been going to places, you know, meeting with political bigwigs and this is um, kind of a sign that something fishy, you know, is actually going on. And to make it um, happen, <laughs> he's saying that they are going around putting his post as well. He's already having campaigners, which means it is not supposed, we should, we should not be surprised when we are going to be hearing that he is actually running for the presidency. Okay. You still have not made up your mind in January 2022. The guy, P2B, has not made up his mind as well. Tomorrow, Ibos will shout marginalization. Well, I don't know why they are holding back because by now, 2023 is just like 12 months from now. 
Yes, let's say 12 months and some weeks. Yes, so um, let's say maybe max 15 months. So, um, like, I don't understand why they have not yet. Maybe they are waiting for their party people. I think that they have found out that maybe this is not going to work. That maybe the APC themselves, they're not zoning the tickets for the Southwest region. And of course, that the PDP themselves are not also voting, um, zoning the tickets to the South, um, um, uh, to the Southeast region. Maybe, maybe, maybe. That is why they have been quiet and that is why they don't want to, you know, come out and say something. At the end of the day, they tell them that no, it is not possible. Maybe they're trying to take their time. Well, what is our business? Our business is that we'll need somebody who will come in and who will change everything positively, not negatively, because change can be negative or positive. Somebody who will come in and he's going to, you know, change um, things positively for Nigeria, revive the, the key economy, um, the infrastructure, work more on it, and um, of course, a whole lot of things. Um, that is it. <laughs> who even needs someone like Oji Zokalo? Given his heartless antecedents as governor of Abia State, he would even be worse than General Buhari in a different manner. Hmm. People with their opinions. It is just politics. He knows where the matter is going. It is for Tinubu and the highest power in APC have decided. That is what, exactly what I'm saying. Maybe they have decided that, oh, um, at the end of the day, Tinubu is the one to emerge. So everybody needs to quiet down so that they cannot go out and you know, spend uh, money. It is the survival of the fitted they will start to eliminate themselves one after the other. I pray it does not get to that. Sincerely. It is a shame for Nigerians, for somebody like Tenebo to come out to announce his ambitions. To become the president of Nigeria, looking at his age and his corrupt life, so many youths are clapping for him. Tenebo is part of this government and things were from good to worse. He's supposed to apologize to Nigerians for the inability of a government is part of to deliver his country but things are worse than it were of course that is why i keep saying if you're youth and you you're clapping your hands for any you're even saying to know i'm saying any recycled politician sincerely shame your shame it, it like it's sh shame big shame on you big big shame on you well at the end of the day we can only watch to see whether ojizo comes out to declare his own ambition, or maybe we we'll hear that tomorrow, because um, the gov the former governor of Lagos State, come out and declared his, maybe made everybody to hold the fort for him, because according to him, he is someone who has impacted so much. Okay, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And until I come here next time, enjoy the rest of the day.